How's it going, everybody? Welcome. How you doing, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Everything sound all right? Levels look okay from my end, but let me know. How you guys doing? <clears throat> Solo, what's up, dude? Boz and Joe? I hope I pronounced that right, I don't know. Samuel, what's up, dude? Boba. Dewey Nui. All right, mate. Lincoln. Bueno. <laughs> Aiden. What's up, guys? Welcome along. I know we're early today. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Life gets in the way of these things. So, appreciate you coming out and joining me early today. Red Barrett, what's up, dude? Nathan. Welcome along. It's been a long week, hasn't it? <laughs> Feels like it's been a really long week. <laughs> dude, it's only 11 p.m. instead of 2 a.m. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I like to hear. Um, wake up, sponge, it's time to build. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you're right. But yeah, it's been a long week. I feel like it's been a long week with all this um, 10.6 stuff. And I've been trying to kind of keep up with um, the other guys like Jeff, X Cow, um, Red Baron. All trying to build stuff in 10.6. I haven't been able to keep up very much, unfortunately. We've had one of those weeks. It's just a bit crazy. So I've got a blank, kind of blank creative session now, 10.6. Um, this is a little winged craft that I built in um, my patch notes video. It actually works quite well. It's The problem is, well, it's not really a problem. It's over CPU, but it doesn't matter. It's still efficient. So you can actually go over CPU, it doesn't matter. I don't think I've really made that clear before, but there we go. And um, this is the 10.6 Nightshade, which is tier 2. Yeah. Uh, which I'll probably be publishing. I'm probably not going to publish anything on the workshop until 10.6 goes public. Uh, but it, it doesn't stop us from building stuff. Because what we want to build today is uh, a new nightshade. Uh, there's a lot to build. There's a lot to build. So I don't really watch, know which one to choose. But I've been mostly messing around with SVs. So I feel most confident with SVs now. But obviously, with the natural progression in the game, most people will have a HV first. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I want to, I want to do a, a Nightshade Mark 7 for 10.6. New Nightshade that is something between that and that. Those two. But tier 1. So no CPU extensions. Hopefully. That's, uh, the list of requirements longer than my bloody arm. Hopefully... I can build it in such a way that it can be upgraded. <laughs> <clears throat> but it completely messes. We're doing that and messes with the shape like crazy. Um, so it's really difficult. It's a really difficult build. It's easy enough to just build to tier one. And you can have a very slim line, very practical, easy shape. And then you start putting things like warp drives in it and shield generators and constructors and storage. And it makes the shape bigger. And then taking all that stuff out in order to get it back down to tier one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should make it upgradable to tier two and that's it. Because that should be pretty simple because it's just one extra block rather than two extra blocks. Anyway. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea how this is going to turn out. We shall try and see what we can build. Tier 1, start our SV with room to expand. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so the cockpit is kind of like, wow. Um, it really, really defines the entire shape of the ship, doesn't it? 
Okay, um, we're gonna need generators and fuel tanks. We're probably gonna need a couple of RCSs, O2, thrusters, not many. Uh, I have a couple of M's, but that takes it up to level seven. That's fine. Realistically, we're probably gonna need a core. Probably gonna move it. Headlights, armor lockers. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring everything in. I'll bring it all in. Screw it. Whatever. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. My right, ammo, shield, CPU extensions, ventilator. Maybe. Probably not. Right. <laughs> yeah. Early streams today, Uncle Sam. Sorry about that. Just um, real life guns. Good. Good. Bloody cool. What um. Yeah. Well, it's just. It's literally going to be gats, isn't it? Gats, but I will add some rockets in as well, but take them off at the end so that you can you can add them in when you get to tier two. Um, daylight is moving. No, it's not. The weather that's cloudy. That'll do it. Right. So it's really annoying in creative mode. I wish that when you place the starter block, actually it just stayed in the air, but it doesn't. It, it floats. So I'm going to raise this up a little bit, uh, and we will remove all that later. So, like I said, cockpit kind of dictates the rest of the ship. In what shape it's going to be. I know, because this one's really annoying because it's got those. It's just, A, it's huge. I suppose once you bury it, but then you're just wasting space, you may as well use that. I don't know, is that the same size? It is all the same size, isn't it? That one's the, probably the best. Longer, but. They're all the same size. I don't know. I don't know. Go with the sparky cockpit. Let's go with the sparky cockpit. Let's do that one. It's funky. It's funky. Right. Now we can get rid of those, see, and it just sort of floats. Pretty sweet. Um. <laughs> the thing is, I need to have in my mind some kind of shape. Like the nightshade one. Well, I say B, weirdly. I don't know why it's B, anyway. Tier 2 is a cheap level... Cheap level 7 upgrade makes Tier 1 useless. Well, not necessarily, because... Tier 2, you need flux coils and... Um, well, yeah, flux coils. You need cores and flux coils. And flux coils aren't exactly easy to get hold of in the early parts of the game. See, this isn't a great cockpit either, is it? It's, it's sort of aerodynamic. But it sticks out. Sure, you know what? I think this one, now that I've taken all these blocks away, I think this one actually is going to serve us best. Bear with. That's the ugliest cockpit. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to get into it. It's going to fall over now. Um, because it actually gives us a fair amount to work with on the sides. Uh, aerodynamically, that might be a little bit better. One generator will be fine. Two fuel tanks. Okay, let's symmetry this bad boy up. <clears throat> um... 202 tanks. Alright, that's that. We're done with that. We need. Well, we've got two lots of Wi Fi. <laughs> we need Wi Fi, and we need a core, and we need a space for the core extension to go. Alright, so core. And the Wi Fi on top of it. So the core extension is going to go in that space there. I'm going to leave RCSs off for now because we're going to see how we get on without them. <clears throat> okay, I think probably we need to outline a basic shape. Maybe 
So basically, what I'm going to have is is um, maybe one medium thruster, or if we can maybe get away with it, two small Fish thrusters pushing it forward. And then, dude, operator hoot, thank you very much for the bits, man. That's cool. Um, one thruster in every other direction, just one small one. I think. Well, see, depending on how our CPU then looks, <coughs> we'll see how, where we can go from there. Um, but I'm going to try and make the center out of sort of steel and everything else around it out of plastic, so it kind of has the center weight is quite a lot. But yeah, um, the basic shape wise. I need some wings. We need wings because we need the aerodynamics to work for us. We're going to try something a bit different. I, I found some people were asking this on the forum and they weren't really able to answer it. But anybody play Red Alert 2? And did you play as um, Korea? Do you remember the name of the uh, the attack craft, the attack aircraft in, in North Korea? At the backwards wings. <laughs> They're not really big enough, are they? All right, I want bigger wings, but they don't really go bigger than that. Unless I get the really, really heavy. Because these ones are what? They're 150 kilos. Oh, they're 100 kilos each, actually. Maybe these... Let's try it. Let's try it with these ones. I thought the modular ones were a lot lighter, but if they're 150 each, what are these? 390s. Oh, okay. 190. Um, I want backwards wings, basically, is what I'm getting at. <laughs> uh, another SV today. Yeah, Joe, I was just saying at, this, at the beginning, sorry, mate, that. Um, I've been messing around with SVs the most, so I'm, I'm most confident at the moment when it comes to CPU with SVs. So I want to create a proper SV today and then move on to hover vessels and everything else after. So, yeah, apologies. Uh, another SV today. Just trying to find the right wing to do this with. It's got a bit delta wing, but backwards. <clears throat> It's almost like that one, but that's... Not that one. No. No. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's kind of like that, but it's almost... Yeah, I can't find it. I can't find the right wing type, really. I might just stick with a normal one then. Oh, that might work. Maybe. The reason I wanted to use the modular ones because then I wanted to add some modules onto the end of it. I'm not sure if I can with these ones. Whether they actually stick on properly. No, they do. That's pretty good. That's alright then. So I wanted to do... Um, I wanted to do a bit more. Right with the wings on the edges. Just give it an extra little bit of flair, basically. But this uh, whole wing stuff depends on me being able to fit everything else in here that I need to fit in here. So, thrusters, like I said. Um, because they've obviously rebalanced thrusters and they've they've changed how powerful they are and what they all <clears throat> what they do, how much power they they thrust they give out and stuff like that. So, I don't want to use many, like I said, one in each direction, basically. Apart from forward, which is going to be... It's going to be 
one, one down. I'm probably gonna have to use two up. And reverse. What are we up to? We're up to 1,100, so we're still, we're still doing pretty well. Well, I might need to use two on the reverse, maybe. Ah, difficult. I think just putting like one there is gonna suck. Like, from an aesthetics point of view, it's not gonna be great. I'll try it. I'll see if I can make it work, but there's no like sloping options or anything with these small thrusters. It's literally just a box. That's all you got. You got a oh, box. Right. <laughs> Zombie. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> I think that pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? <laughs> it sums everyone's feelings up, really. Um, it's just funny. Dragoon! What's up, dude? Welcome along. We're building a tier 1 SV properly this time. Uh, Talung, dude, thank you very much for the host, man. 16 viewers, very cool. Awesome, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Regular steel blocks for your hull, combat blocks or hardened steel blocks built around your core, fuel blocks only. Yeah, add it to your one shield. <laughs> uh, do you want it to look like a gold death glider? Or an X302? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. It's too curvy though, they're too curvy. That's the problem with that. Uh, the Gwaud, or however they pronounced it. Um, yeah, it was too curvy. What I do want is um, sloping about. Why right, just weird, isn't it? Why is that? Now it. There is not a block for that. There never is a block for that, is there? Carry on. I want more blocks. All right. Well, in that case, then we will add. some curves let's see what you think about that uh talong dude thank you very much for the follow that's awesome man welcome along the gats are in i don't know how i'm gonna do this now <laughs> i've kind of screwed myself into a corner by using curves stupidly um Everybody knows you don't use curves at this stage of the game. Ah, that's rubbish. Okay, well, maybe it's just... I might struggle here, guys, because this shape of this cockpit is a bit random. What is going on? Hi, my name is Spange, and I've completely forgotten how to build stuff. Literally, completely forgot how to build stuff. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, this is a nightshade. So it's got to have the signature nightshade nostrils. Oh yeah. No oh my god, what am I building? This is horrendous already. It's just, it's just hideous. What, what's going on? It's too thin, it's too wide, it's too fat, it's too stupid. Um, 
Just finished relearning the game and recognized your name from YouTube. Awesome. Did you see the new and improved Dorothy? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks pretty awesome. I haven't, I haven't actually tried it yet, though. Uh, Lord Erskium seems that the creative juices have left Spanish also. <laughs> it does feel like that. It really does. I'm like, oh my god. Alright. It's just like trying to get over how limiting I think everything feels now, really. Just trying to figure out how far we can still go with the game, whether we can, whether we can't. Um, I know that leaves a gap, but I'm going to leave that there on purpose. I need, I need blocks. Give me the blocks. this weird like crease going on in here uh, which I may be able to resolve just by replacing the cockpit in fairness but uh, steel fronted should be able to take a couple of shots at least um, yeah obviously need to get some stuff in the back here but we can deal with that in a minute need to just get over it in terms of like figuring out what we can build and what we can't in in the sense not not like um, like get over it you stop complaining like in in terms of creative juices as it were feeling limited <clears throat> If we can create one damn good looking beast and functional performance wise, um, I realize <laughs> I've set the bar a bit higher for myself here, haven't I? <laughs> By adding the good looking sort of claws in there. Mm, probably not. <laughs> yeah. At all possible, then then it's possible. Ben A, dude, thank you for the bits, man. That's awesome. It's 200 bits. Legend. Slaying 8, thank you very much for the follow as well, dude. That's that's pretty awesome. Sweet. Alright. <clears throat> I'm just trying now. I'm just trying not to get distracted by the CPU numbers and just build. Because I think that's the most important thing. Just build. Worry about CPU in a minute. Right, 
Right. We've got the two gats, but I'm not loving their location at the moment. I might uh, change that. Gats, what do they look like on the ends of here? A bit stuck on, a bit super glued on, aren't they? Really far out. Now, on the original nightshade, they were underneath. Uh, the wings, weren't they? They were like out here. But then uh, I could move those thrusters in fairness. If I stick. See, they were... That almost seems like too far out. If I put them there, let's change these thruster locations to behind them. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. And then this, whoops, it is. <laughs> Just take it all out. <laughs> this can be changed to. Like that. And then. Start bringing it out. Actually, we can start bringing it out straight away. That works a bit better. Now we can change the plastic. Sorry, carbon substrate. There we go. Okay, let's look at it a little bit better, a little bit less janky. Alright. Um, right, let's finish off. What are we up to? CPU 2644. How did we go from 1000 to 2644? Right, okay, fine. No worries. Um. Sure. <laughs> sure. Let's get rid of you. Uh, we got guns everywhere. And we got the two GATs. We don't need RCSs yet. What we might do. We gotta use regular cargo boxes. We do need ammo controller though. Cargo boxes take up no CPU. As extensions and controllers do. So I know these ammo boxes are lame. In terms of like they have next to no capacity. I think that'll look quite cool there. I'm just gonna leave them exposed there. I think that'll look badass. I don't wanna leave those there because they got um then you got these fuel tanks here, so uh the ammo box kind of needs to be center. Page down. There we go. One extension either side. That's plenty of ammo. All right. Bit of momentum now. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's cover that up. Forward, left, right, down, reverse, and up. Okay. Uh, is it ammo only? No, no, no. <clears throat> no, and it's not got warp core either. It's it's a basic pre-warp. So it's your warp, your warp SVZ kind of tier two upwards. This thing is for like that first time you actually get airborne. Um, tier tier one, six thousand CPU. Uh, bare minimum kind of like you could probably afford this before you get that first um, hover vessel I mean really a requirement at the moment 46 iron I and mean, the highest is the 114 copper copper is always the most expensive now so but I wanted to initially when I first started concepting this I wanted to give it the ability to extend and be expanded upon but I don't think that's realistic not within tier one tier two I think you can do it because I think tier one you just need too many blocks because you need to encompass so many devices and components of warp core shield generator pentaxid tank the extra generators and fuel tank that you're going to need to lift all that extra weight once you actually do then get um, 
to upgrading it. So I think it's just too much block cost. In all honesty. Tier 1. Little Scout SV. I think we can do it. I need O2 station. Probably not going to have a constructor. I can probably add one though. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Um, always like these things to be accessible from outside the ship. But... Not necessarily practical to do that. I think a constructor is going to take it well over, but let's have a look. Let's see. Uh, um, out of 4,800 CPU, not bad, not bad, not bad. And we're up to 132 copper, and now 105 silicon. So, okay. <clears throat> if we add shut the doors onto that they're going to cost even more so I'll try and limit their use to just okay now, now to shape it and make it Look reasonable. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay. <clears throat> sure. Oh, hello, cheeky. Where are you being? Where are you going? Huh? So the difficulty is as well. I've. Although I've left a space <laughs> for a CPU extension, I've left no way to get to it. So, um, that's a bit daft, isn't it? The Wi Fi doesn't need to be there. The Wi Fi can be anywhere else. Let's put our down thruster over the core. That leaves that space there. Put another shutter door there so we can access that cavity sponge trust block oh right in the area well I just leave an empty space it's fine um, Spanish what's up dude Spanish bomber uh, John Russell Spanish have you considered designing and sending an official prefab to the developers to be used in the game maybe even this I did I sent a cargo frog to them and they never used it so um the thing is, I mean, they're, they're fairly cash about just taking whatever they want off the workshop. So if they want it, they can have it. Um, uh, yeah, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> it would be nice to get a prefab, I think. I think it's a nice little bragging right, isn't it? But it's not something that's um, necessarily playing on my mind all that much. It's not like a dream come true if they do. Ooh, I think I was about to prefab, not to be it. Whatever. Can I get that around the right way, please? Thanks. Uh... Okay. Let's have a bit of build it up a little bit and then uh, we could shape it a bit later. It's fine, it's getting dark in here already. I'm gonna turn the light on. One second. Oh, that was magic. Thank you very much. Let that be light, and that was. We may need a Spanish block. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, Spanish blocks generally come a bit later though. And so does piping, but don't worry, we'll find a way. 
I've got all this space here as well. I mean, at the moment, I'm going to leave that empty. And then we'll cover it up on the bottom in a second. At the moment, this is the weirdest looking nightshade. But the point is, I mean, these wings, they could even be just placeholders. I could change change them out something else later. Just finish the basic shaping first. What do you want, Titan? Stand by for diagnostic scan. Oh, lovely. Yeah? Activated. I've been standing by for years. What do you want? Right. So this, if I invert this um, triangle block like that, right? And then when I do open this hatch, I then go access to the constructor and, and the ammo box if I want that direct access. Uh, I could even then, I mean, it would, it would add nothing, but I could use this one. I could make sure it's around the right way to create uh, even larger sort of area inside there. That's assuming that because um, I'd be stood so I might need to move that actually up and, and do it the other way around so they have the, the shutter door because I'm going to be on the ground aren't I? So the shutter door there and then have the triangle block there. And then I can access the constructor from down there. Okay, that works. These two might be a bit difficult though. I could just move them up. Yeah, let's just move them up. Okay. <clears throat> Does that work? I know. Right. It'll be a little bit weird. Probably a little bit blocky. Okay. Um. <clears throat> no build was complete without a spanner block. Absolutely right, Mr. Dragoon. Tyler Lancaster, hello. You can stop spamming hi now in the chat. Cheers. Hi, Spanger. I am new to the stream. Welcome to the stream. I am on YouTube watching. <laughs> hey, Ian, what's up, dude? Um, you can see my posting in the Twitch chat section. Yeah, I've got Twitch and, and YouTube chat going on. I don't know if it's relaying over into the chat box properly or not, because it's really, really flaky. So if I am talk, if I'm uh, reading out comments that you're not seeing, it's probably because it's either on Twitch or either on YouTube. Don't worry, I'm not going mental just yet. It's only a matter of time. I kind of want to put a block over there, so that looks a little less like, I don't know, a little less something. Noise! Noise! Um, dude, Slayer Nate and Mr. Clutch Kicker, thank you very much for the follows, dudes. Much appreciated. The hell? All right, there we go. Wink. See, because I want, I also want to see if I can get the sort of signature nightshade um, uh, spikes at the back as well. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Yeah. 
Always the back. Always the back of ships are the hardest, aren't they? <laughs> hardest to do. Uh, you made my day saying hi to me, Spanish Tyler. You're welcome, dude. Welcome along, man. Um, <clears throat> what is going on over on Twitch? Hang on. What's going on? Dude, Annie, dude. Thank you very much for those six months, man. That's awesome. Nice. Nice. Sponge, how many blocks away from front is your cockpit? Three. Um, also, it's not a small CV. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. You're talking about something. Did you did you down the giant gas planet? No. Don't do that. It, it, yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. It's nothing anyway. <clears throat> Okay, Spanji, you pass three blocks is enough. Three not I don't know. For what? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, moving swiftly on before the crazy genes take over. Kinda want I don't know what I want. I want something. Um Shaping is hard. <laughs> Why can't I just have a brick? It's my brick. <laughs> so much easier. What is that block? What is, is there, there isn't even a block for that, is there? I've blocked myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've done block myself. There ain't a block for that. There's that. That's rubbish. Right. We won't even bother. We will call it a feature. In fairness, there is probably a block for that though. I almost know there is. There is a block for that. It's uh, it's like that one, I think. Oh, look at that! Can't really tell. Sometimes it's really difficult to see these plastic goddamn textures. Yeah, this like little. that should be once I put this on um, landing gears that should be the right height then to access all those hatches and stuff that should be good right okay good uh, so on the top here before we go underneath Little bits like this, I like to just add on there, because um, then I can add shinies, shiny stuff. In the texturing, um, Spandy wanted to do an SV with backwards wings. I did. Are you excited about Starbase? I, I'm more excited about Dual Universe than Starbase. Starbase. 
for sure um, I'm going to be getting involved in as um, soon as that does m make an appearance. Um, Nailed it! But it, it definitely, uh, um, from what I've seen so far, it's definitely geared more towards the PvP and in my experience that never ends well. So <laughs> we'll see what happens I guess, won't we? But uh, yeah. It's probably going to be the rust of the stars. That's what I suspect it's going to end up like. As my predictions for Starbase. Whereas Dual Universe, I think, is basically EVE Online, but build your own ships. Um, which should have everybody pretty excited, to be honest. I mean, I'm not a massive EVE. I mean, I played EVE for a little while, and, it, and I, I stopped playing EVE because it crashed out and bugged on me, and, and I lost a bunch of stuff, and I was just like, well, you stupid game, you're forcing me through all this shenanigans, and you can't even... Uh, I can't find the right block. Can't even run properly, so... Screw you! I'm out! And I raged. That was my Eve career. Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Um, oh, we've got some follows. Hang on. I've got to reduce my preview window because that's crazy. I'm not pronouncing that. <laughs> it's in. <laughs> um. Mandrew, dude, thank you for the follow. Shiny Reaper, thank you for the follow. Um, and the the Russian dude, that's name I have no idea how to pronounce. Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> Fluff, dude, with 100 bits, thank you very much. That's awesome. Ionic as well with a follow. Welcome yeah. along, Ionic. How are you guys doing? Thank you for joining. Um... Yeah, this is a weird shape, this one. I'm not sure what to do here because I don't think there is blocks for that particular... There's that, but that obviously overlaps. The hell was that? Whatever. Uh, what am I doing now? So there was this one, which is great. Obviously, doesn't quite fit right, so I could ditch that corner one there and just go with this. I think that's probably what we're gonna have to do, which is fine, no dramas. Uh, sweet. It's not bad, it's not bad shaping. We're gonna go a bit square now though, because um, I need to fill that in, unfortunately. It's a shame, because that's quite a good space. Actually, should I put more cargo boxes in there? They don't take CPU, do they? So, cargo boxes! Oh, it's pretty sweet next to the gat, actually. It's pretty sweet. I think I might need an RCS or two. That might take me over, though. What am I at? 4939. Let's add two RCSs in. What does that take us to? 6439. <laughs> but we're still 100% efficient, so we're fine. We'll see how she flies. That block is going to get changed for one of the best blocks they've ever added to the game, in my opinion. This badger. I love it. I love it. Um, hey, Smanj, when are you going to the Vunbeta space station? Oh, it's coming up, my friend. It's happening. I just rendered the video this afternoon, so it'll be up uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember which one it is. Um, four three seconds. Menace, what are you talking about? <laughs> I think we moved on. 
EVE Online, where you're suspicious of your alt. <laughs> yeah, man. Spanish menu, you going? Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, same question. Looks like you're building it ready for Bombay doors. Mate, that would be awesome. I know that a Hummel during our Q&A was actually kind of... Um, he, he didn't agree to it or anything, but I think he was o very open to the idea of Bombay doors and bombs dropping and, and stuff like that. Uh, so watch this space, because that might actually happen. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> I hope it does, because it would be so awesome. Okay, we're going to use these ones, because then I can build an extra block out from them. Like that one there. Like that. Now this is tricky because actually what I need to do here is um, landing gears. Why are they so huge? She kind of need that to be further forward, but. Ooh, that's the best place I'm going to get, get them, to be honest. It's going to land on its belly, it's going to be flat, which is fine. That will allow it to at least be docked to something. Whether it's stable or not, we'll have to find out, won't we? Um, eh, what's going on? Starbase, blah, 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 blah. Got to keep watching good old Spanish. Thank you, Doom Noodle. Always appreciated. Fluff with 100 bits. Uh, good evening, Dragoon, Spanish dude, What what's mine say? Dude, sweet, uh, do they take, they do take CPU, the cargo boxes, damn it, Raptor, you ruined my day, <laughs> I recommend expanding to CPU, expanding it will keep the efficiency at 100%, yeah, yeah, I wanted to keep it tier 0, so as long as it's 100% with tier 1, then we're good, loving the Eden series, thank you Annie man, though. I'm loving making it as well, it's so cool. Yeah, we'll continue. Are you enjoying fan-made builds so far, Spanish? Do you know what? I gotta say, the Mule is a fantastic ship. Uh, it is so good. I've pretty much won the entire game just with that one CV, to be honest. So, yeah, I, I am enjoying the fan-made stuff. It, it does bring a completely different element to it. Although I will admit, uh, I do I do sometimes miss my creations. Um, especially when I was putting up a certain defense tower the other day. <laughs> yeah, if you're on my Discord, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to remove that. I just put a wall block in because shinies. Okay. Actually, we might get away with some deco on there, maybe. Because that's the other thing that annoys me as well. Deco costs CPU. What's that about? All right. Reasonable, reasonable. Okay, we might need to take that, those RCSs out. It's got a constructor in it, I remember, as well. So it's pretty well equipped, but it still says 100% CPU. So it's still fine. That cargo box is so gonna go boom. <laughs> first first shot incoming, bang. <laughs> Both the cargo boxes. 
cargo box is the least important thing. Why is there a block here? I must have accidentally placed it. Or is it a... Um... There we go. Okay. Yeah, so you can easily uh, put a CPU extension in there. You could even put uh, a detector on top of that maybe, or is that... That block is taken by the actual shutter door, isn't it? Let's change that. Right, there we go. So that's two block gap now. Underneath that thruster. So you should be able to fit a core extension in there. And a detector. But then that's pretty much it. I've got... There's, there's room in front of things like, just trying to think like shield generator maybe, but that's like crazy high high CPU, so probably not. But you got space like here, um, above the landing gear, these two blocks that I added in here. Also this block that I'm kind of, it's just nothing there, where well, you could add more fuel tanks if need be. Or container extensions if you want to move to CPU, uh, to container extensions, but yeah, it's not. Mostly, you'll probably want to strap some missile launchers onto the edge of the wings here. So that's easy to do. Just like, bang. Now it's got missile launchers. You could even just go, bang, now it's got more missile launchers. <laughs> so, the point is, you can add more guns to it very easily so that should be good let's add um, corner block in here a little bit of shape okay <clears throat> CPU 6470 8 out of 6,000, 100% CPU efficient still. Um, the wings still look a bit stupid, I'll admit. We're not missing anything, we've got O2 fuel and everything. It's majestic in flight. <laughs> You probably um, just seeing if it, it just sort of hovers on its. So this is with auto break off, so it's not sustaining its own height. It's trying to use the aerodynamic features here to make sure it's. So if I come on, you gonna go forward at all? Or is this like broken or something? Uh, I'm trying to use the auto the cruise control basically. So that's O. And that's losing altitude. Yeah. We're coming down hard, Captain. The ground isn't helping. To be fair. Well, if we increase our. Why does that freeze the ship dead? That's crazy. That's really weird. It's such a stupid little bug. Alright. So if you press the control W to bring the uh, cruise control up, it just freezes the ship dead. Dead. Instantly. Right, I'm trying to decrease the speed. Do you see where it stop where it starts losing altitude basically? Nine point seven meters a second. Seven meters a second. Why are you restricting yourself, Sponge? Landing gear is too high?
Well, they they come down. They 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 um they fold down. <laughs> so seven meters a second. Six point one. This is still with auto brake switched off. I know those thrusters seem to be on full vertical burn. That's disconcerting. All right. So she's a slow turner. She turns slow because obviously she's only got one thruster in each direction, and the down thruster there is in the center. So she's getting next to no turn or rotate torque from the thrusters at all. That said, she still sort of turns. Max speed though is shocking. I've only just seen that. Max speed is 30 meters a second. I don't, yeah. I can't give something like this the name Nightshade. It's just not, it's not worthy. It rolls too slow, its speed is too slow. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, it's hella cheap. But that's it. It'll get you around, I suppose. Which is his main objective. Is to get you around an early scout. She can glide. This came consuming. It's been four hours organizing stupid stuffs. <laughs> oh dear. Very slow. Yeah, that's the thing. I wonder I'm wondering now. Uh if I take out these RCSs and these thrusters, specifically these ones, these, whoops, wow, this one, right, so I removed everything but the forward and backwards thrusters. The one backward thruster. Okay. What we're going to try. It's probably going to be very ugly, but that seems to be the way these things are going at the moment. Now those are on the far outside. There's no RCSs in this at all. Which is about the same. <laughs> about the same in turn and everything. Um, but we're now below that RCS. Not that that made any difference. Maybe if we put the RCSs back then, and we'll have a little bit more, because we've now got the thruster torque of the thrusters and of the RCS. That might work better. Oh yeah, the turn is much better now. Speed still sucks. She turns a lot nicer. The roll is still a bit awkward. Up and down is very, very twitchy. Hang on then. So we got, because we got two, two down, two up one in each direction. Almost need to... Right. Two. 
Wait, which one did I remove? The back one down here. Right, that's going to take us over. Still 100% CPU though, that's crazy. 100% um, efficient. Right, okay. The turn is good. The roll is still sluggish. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's go in the cockpit. We're inverted flying. Oh, point is we can. That was quick as well. It's just that that roll. Uh, see, I thought the roll would be quicker. So obviously the thing is that this, although it can do aerodynamic flight, it could do space flight as well, and that might be why we're not getting great performance. I don't know. We'll do a bit of both. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, penalty system in Creator has to be enabled via CMS line. Oh, does it? Um, what is that? S SCSA is it? Is that what the one? CPU penalty system is now on, right? Okay, fine. So does that now? Well, it still says 100% efficient. Yeah, even though it's a thousand over, it's still 100% efficient. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Let me know. Um, Expand to get out of creative mode. Change the wing shape to a smaller shape and she will handle better with roll, pitch, and yaw. Okay, we'll give that a go. Smaller wings. See, because I, I was under the impression that if you spread your, your thrusters out more and the more um, area you had on the, on, the, on the bottom pane, the more performance you would get from these things. Now the other issue is got as well is that I've got a lot of little wing blocks there which are contributing a lot of weight. So <clears throat> there you go, so I'll just upload that. Everything is boring. <laughs> Fine. Lame wings it is. We really should turn symmetry mode on. She does does feel a bit more responsive now, yeah. And she'll have a little bit less weight on her, so Alright. Now do we make those thrusters on <laughs> on the outside of the wings actually look reasonable though? 
not just stupid. Because that's what they look like right now. Stupid. First of all, get rid of that horrible goddamn arrow. Oh wait, I've done that wrong. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I'll figure that out in a second. Um, oh yeah. What do we do here then? Gotta use our magical block again. This is going to save it, in all honesty. Nailed it! Dude, Patrick, Thunderhammer. Thank you very much for the followers, dudes. Symmetry mode. <laughs> One day, I'll remember to turn it on. Did I do that the right way around? Yeah, the, the magical block. The magical, magical, magical block. It's that way around. Yeah. And then corners. There. Fine. Fine. Kind of. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Fine. Let's go with that. Save as. just been going with uh, 10.6 test SV I think <laughs> four all right my dog thank you very much dude Spanish block again magical block magical block yeah then a Spanish block is the the triangle to rounded um, intermediate connector we haven't actually um, used that yet but we haven't actually figured out if it's working yet I don't wanna I've pretty much done the most of the shape I don't know how I'm gonna add it in there but I could certainly try I'll add more creativity oh cool is that gonna carry on or is that buggered yeah it might carry on um, sponge oh, yeah got you Oh, okay. Where the hell am I? Who knows? Apparently I'm in Polaris territory. And it's dark. Of course. So I think this is just my weights and volumes test game. Alright. SV4. SPP, IM, spawner in, H menu, fusion cells, fill her up. I took that block out, but that doesn't matter. I'll put it back once we uh, finish this. That looks a bit 
<laughs> Bottom air looks a bit much there, doesn't it? I might have to change that. Uh, yeah. Looks alright from this angle. I'll just cut that section off there and just... Anyway. Does she fly? Alright. <laughs> That's such a stupid little bug. Max speed, 35. 98.3% efficiency. So in creative mode, it doesn't actually tell you your actual efficiency. Well, that's fucking helpful, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, language. Apologies. That's ridiculous. Kind of need to know the efficiency. Oh, just bouncing around between save games constantly. It's like weights and volumes. I have to go into another game to test weights and volumes. Give it to me in creative mode, please. I wonder how long it'll last against a drone base. Place your bets now, everybody. Oh, it's got missiles as well. Brilliant. This will end well. Oh, she's kicking ass, though. I've got no ammo, but you can't stop me, drone base. You can't stop me. I'm... <laughs> you suck! Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Cock error. That's what I want. And... Oh, screw it, I win. Hang on. I reckon... I reckon we can figure it out. Have I, got, have I lost my reverse thrust? I think I have, haven't I? I'm in! There we go, I'm in. Screw it. I win. All your base is now mine. <laughs> can I get out? Can I escape now? I want to escape. Hang on. I'm stuck. <laughs> no, there goes the carpet. <laughs> Drone base wins. Drone base wins. All right, fine. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, right, create back to creative. Hi from Uruguay. Danilo, dude. Welcome along. That's awesome. Prefabs aren't CPU compliant yet. Yeah. Well, the whole prefab thing needs complete rework anyway. They, they were always crap. I love that parking job. Uh, gre greetings from Herefordshire. <laughs> Welcome, dude. Uh, keep up fantastic work. Question. Do we know when 10.6 10 will be dropping? Uh, my guess, probably in about two weeks' time. All right. I'm just plucking that out of thin air. I don't know. Elion do Elion. They don't tell me nothing. They don't tell me nothing. So yeah. Whenever. Whenever it's ready. So, how do we get this thing 100% then? Because that's... That's the main thing. That was not 100%. I need a, I need a, I need a... One of you. Well, I know it's all steel, but it doesn't really matter. Shiny. Nah. Nah. Shiny in the back there. That'll be all right. Sweet. Well, it sort of works. I'm not going to give it the name Nightshade, though. That name is reserved for good ships. <laughs> but, in all honesty, this is, this is stupid. This should be working. I mean, I know it's experimental and stuff, and they're obviously still fixing stuff, but that, that needs to be working in creative mode in order for us to even have a chance at this. 
Uh, start SP game, then use command GMIM SPP SCM to make your game creative for building. After you're done, um, go back to survival. Yeah. The CM creative mode, then, is it? Is that what it's, it's, it's creative mode? Yeah, well, Wolfen, dude, um, the the experimental version now, 10.6, you can play with, is, has got CPU stuff in it. Um, over on YouTube. Spange, could you have a vessel with two 3x3x10 thrusters in 10.6? Yeah, you can. Your CPU can go up to tier 4. These, you're talking about these ones, aren't you? The 3x3x10s, three by, three by the XLs, two of those, 12,000 CPU. Yeah, I mean, tier 4 takes you up to 48,000 CPU, so should be fine. Oh, block missing. There we go. Wrong block, that one. Yeah. I would categorize this ship as all right. <laughs> and in, in fairness, uh, for the level, what are we are actually, what level is it? Is it level five? All right, seven. What's the seven? Um, God damn the gats man take up so much the RCS two two thousand two and a quarter thousand just on RCS steel block wings the wings cost CPU I did ask them I said to them could you please make it so that the plastic carbon substrate blocks don't actually take CPU please yeah they take CPU Let's try with only one RCS. Where, where is it? I forgot where I put it. That's the cockpit. Where did I put the RCS? Ah, there it is. Oh, there were three. Oh crap. Well that might have uh, something to do with it. Also didn't the... Um, where's the Wi-Fi gone? Right, yeah, because if... Um I've done an oopsie on the RCS count. That might have something to do with why it's over RCS. Over CPU, sorry. Let's take you out, uh, leave you as a space for. A detector. Put this, the RCS there. Put that there. So now you've got three block cavity in there for an extender, detector, and something else. How she fly with that? Okay. She flies okay. Still at that max speed, sucking balls though. I'm not sure what to do with it. The only thing I might be able to do is add a medium thruster on the top there. It's 
take these two smaller ones out and it might give me what's what are we at now we're at five eight seven nine that might actually be a bad shout what's the difference so small thrusters give you 84 kilonewtons of thrust the mediums give you 185 so yeah one is definitely more force than two of those and that's about 112 against 123 CPU wow This will take it back up. Well, it's already level 7 anyway, isn't it? I don't know what it is that's contributing to level 7. Um, is it the shutter doors again? Small vessels, level 7. Just the constructor, of course it is. Right, fine. I'm adding one of these badges in here. Takes our CPU total to exactly 6,000. It's like it's meant to be. <laughs> uh, amazing. Shutters are actually level 5. It's the ramps that are level 7 for a bizarre reason. Shutters have got force fields in them. Ramps don't. But sure. Uh, <laughs> Ramps are a higher level, of course they are. Okay, now with a big boom boom thruster on the back. Can we go smashy smashy fast speed please? 70 meters a second top speed, now we're talking. Yay! She doesn't suck so hard anymore. <laughs> Still that roll, that roll is just poop okay can we one other thing I want to try <clears throat> get rid of you get rid of you get rid of you Two of you in. I'm just trying to push it to the max of tier um, tier one before we start losing efficiency. Basically, I've got to just get loads of Wi-Fi's. All the Wi Fi's. Give me more Wi Fi's. Two RCS's. And I will put the Wi Fi back there where it was originally. And that brings us to six seven nine uh, six seven six three. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, 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 yeah. The roll. I don't know what else to do with the roll. Basically, you ain't gonna be having fun with barrel rolling these things anytime soon. <laughs> I'm gonna suck at that for a while. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that turn is as good as I think we're gonna get it without going to tier two. Um, Spanish has the same force per CPU. Yeah, per CPU, I guess. Yeah. Just wanted to see if I can. <clears throat> there we go. The point is, we managed to get some medium thrusters on the back. We've still got access to our armor lockers, O2, ammo, and constructor. It's got a constructor in it. On a tier 1 SV, 
it's got a constructor. As soon as you put your first core extension in here, you can upgrade the RCSs. Get a detector in there. Upgrading the RCSs, of course, is going to be tricky. There's not really access anywhere. This is the only access you have in here. Even removing the ammo box, you're not going to get anywhere. Space is behind the gats. Okay, there we go. That's where it is. Remove the gats, and you've got access to the extra space for extensions, whatever. I'm going to take a Dragoon suggestion, put some truss blocks in under these thrusters. On top of these thrusters. So that you can see once you take the gats out where you can expand extra stuff. So you can put more RCSs in there, more thrusters if you want. I'm not sure how, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Just take these back blocks off all these side ones off. Well, the point is that costs 241 carbon substrate, 108 iron, 176 copper, and 135 silicon, 34 cobalt. What's the cobalt cost? Is that the constructor again, is it? <laughs> Alex Jordan, what's up dude? Alex Jordan's joined us over on YouTube. He is the uh, composer of all the music that you're hearing at the moment. And the Imperion soundtrack. Welcome along, Alex. Good to have you, mate. Spange, what is your honest opinion on 10.6 as it stands? Where do you think it needs the most improvement? My opinion of 10.6, oh, the CPU stuff specifically, 10.6 in terms of the flight mechanics, the aerodynamics, the new heads up display, new POIs, bug fixes and stuff. Oh, that's great. I like that. And then that adds stuff to the game. Um, CPU at the moment, I feel the same way I do about it as I felt about weights and volumes when weights and volumes first came out. It needs a lot of tweaking. It needs a lot of tweaking. I think. They're just, it's not even that far away, you know, it's not even like, I think it's quite close to being viable. I'm going to take the constructor out because that's costing cobalt. There we go. That's pretty good. It's so close to being proper viable and they just need to mess with the numbers a little bit more. That's my opinion of it. That's interesting. Taking that constructor out. What do you think on the progress of a game, right? When you guys are playing in normal survival, it's a random game survival, you bring your first SV in, do you need the constructor in there? Or is that a nice to have later on? And do you think that you could get a, T, a tier 2 extension module for that, for that SV before you'll need an SV constructor? Because generally, I only use my SV constructor to make extra ammo if I'm out in the field and cores because I forgot to bring cores with me. Anthony uses it for fuel. That's a good shout, actually. Having the SV making its own fuel just in emergencies. It's a nice to have. For an exploration SV is a must. But would you take a portable constructor with you and then just like set down and use that maybe I spawn the constructor with the vert vehicle because you cannot make them on the portable constructor that's true you do have a lot more stuff you can make with the mobile constructor don't you fridge is the must have then a constructor do you know what pills I haven't even put a fridge in here that's a very good shout mate don't use constructor on the first SV nightshade 2 is my first every time I gotta love the nightshade too. Such a bare bones ship, isn't it? It's brilliant. <laughs> That's a good shout actually about the fridge. I haven't put a fridge in here. That's um yeah. 
Let's see if we can squeeze something in here. I'm not sure where to put Fridgy McFridge face. How did I miss the fridge? Put fridge there. Actually, it's reasonable there. <laughs> fridge. <laughs> S3 instructor is important for making cores, making extra ammo, and producing new fuel for emergencies. Maybe if I'm in a long expedition to multiple small POIs. But if you're in a long expedition to multiple small POIs, do you think you would have been able to get the flux coils that you need for the first extension? Because here's the problem. I've got, I've got the space for a constructor in here. You can add a constructor in that little space very easily once you can build one. Is the SV uh, as it is without one worthwhile? Even for short term and short range POI hunting with a handheld protector. Oh, there's a fireworks display going on out there. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, I'm bored. Um, I would buy it. <laughs> I think it is. Yes. Mm. The extension is for Sathium and Neo. It's for Sathium and 10 Neo. I'm pretty sure you'd get that before needing a constructor. See, Dexter, I'm kind of with you on that one. 2000 constructor f CPU for constructor is silly. Well, it's, it is, yeah. That's a lot of CPU. But obviously, they've put that in. To make you think about whether you need it or not and ultimately at the end of the day isn't it do you need that or not now without the constructor because that is 2000 cpu that does open up the possibility to add even more rcs's in here and give us even more roll potential and that might be worth it I just need to find some blocks I can remove where I can put them in. That works. And that works. Bang, bang. Two more RCSs. And that takes us just over 6,000. But look at that roll. Look at the change. Yeah. Wow. Now she feels a bit more like a nightshade. Now she feels like a nightshade. 70 meters a second. She can roll. She can't sustain. Pointing down. I'm hard on space at the moment. I could be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. She can hold herself up looking at the ground. So, circle strafing is a thing. Just about. Oh, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. We've got to mash like eight buttons at the same time. So I'm hard over on right. So I'm hard over on D right now. Got to correct with. Let's try and circle strafe the nightshade mark five there. It's tricky. It's tricky, but I'm, I'm keeping the crosshairs on it. Mostly. It's just that up and down is so twitchy. That means... I don't know what's um, doing the up and down so much. So, like, that up and down compared to that. And why is it so slow? One, why is it so fast? And it's... It's really weird. It's just weird. There's weird stuff going on. It's like, that's really quickly. And then back the other way is really slow. I don't know what's going on. They just, they, they just, SVs feel a bit weird now. It's just such a shame because that was like one of my favorite parts of the game. It's how SVs felt. And uh, they just feel a bit weird. They're not broken, just 
Well, maybe I just need to get used to it. All right. Add some ammo, please. Uh, Doctor H. Move the up and down thrusters to the back and remove RCSs. So the up. So the down are on the edge here. So you're saying I should swap them? Maybe the side ones. Hang on then. Because all this all this experimentation is required. It just takes forever. It's taken an entire stream just to figure out a small tier one SV, you know what I mean? Damn it, symmetry. <laughs> so is that what you mean? I guess I don't know. Right at the back. So you you think the, right, okay, so the down one is right at the back, like that. I haven't used wings though, so yours is far wider, yeah. <laughs> Smart fridge talks you over the network. <laughs> yeah. And then, well that's broken as well, isn't it? Remove the RCSs. Um, remove these ones and you want the down thrust at the back as well well the furthest back we can probably get them is yeah in there but then they're not at the back of the ship not the wing right oh. so take them out why at the back well we're out of the thrusters. Why at the back though? What's the what's the explanation there? Uh, it worked for me. Still trying to understand myself. Oh, okay. Do you guys think that 8.1k Zuscosium in a restroom it is a lot for an endgame CV? Nah, dude, about 10k sounds about right. I wish this was when we had a flat version of that. That'd be sweet. A thin. And I'll just put it over there. That'd be really cool. But we don't! Because Elyon, please add more blocks. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if that does any difference then. Now, if anything. Well, we've removed the RCSs and now it turns. A lot slower. Yeah, the roll is, yeah, not nearly as good. The up and down is better though. Yeah, the up and down is good. So if I put those RCSs back, although we'll be just over CPU, should be good, right? Also, it's holding down the down button there, and it wasn't doing anything. It's almost like the the wings. Interfering in some way. exposed a little bit but I think it's fine oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah that's that roll that's that roll uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on uh, Twitch and uh, Steam. So, uh, YouTube. <laughs> That's that roll. Up and down's less twitchy now. Left and right. That's better. Still only got that one reverse thrust, though. But it is possible. It is possible. We can circle strafe, baby. Yeah, boy! Right. Alright. So, that's without a constructor. Just over the 6,000 limit, which should be minimal CPU efficiency penalties, if any at all. Uh, so, let me just quickly save that again. Right. Swap games. Why is it always dark? <laughs> Stop being dark! Born you in. Ninety nine point six percent efficient. I think we can get away with that. I think we can deal. But what we could probably do. Um, 150, 300, 375, 3,750 rounds of Gatling ammo. Is there anything we can like take out just to sneak the um, CPU back under limit? I wonder the Wi-Fi might do it, one of these O2 tanks might do it, and these cargo boxes might do it. Cargo box containers 120, and we've got four of those, so that's 240, and we're over by 280. Whoa, <laughs> take the fridge out. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, okay. Please, Elion, please add more blocks. <laughs> yeah, do right. This is without any deco on as well. I was gonna add some deco to this, but do you know what? That adds CPU, so just nah, just nah, right. Um, armed, fueled, ready to rock and roll. All right, baby. How do how best do you approach a drone base? No shields. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die! <laughs> oh. Let's try that again. Stop erroring, Jesus. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> oh, really? Really? You do realise what mode I'm in, right? You don't, do you? You think you're all that? You dead? You dead? You dead? You dead? You dead? You're all dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Anyway. Okay, so approaching uh, heavily armed drone base. Uh, high speed. <laughs> From the top. No, good idea. Actually, oop. 
I'm gonna keep my uh, keep my debug rifle. All right. The first missile took the bloody cockpit out. Take two. Through the trees, baby. They're still shooting the old SV. Yeah. Oh, no. There's more missiles coming in. This place has got bloody shields on it. That doesn't help. That really doesn't help. Honestly, stop doing that. Still alive, baby. Still alive. Can't touch this. Ow. I've lost a wing! Shields are down to 97%. We got this. 96. Stop doing that. <laughs> what is that about? I've lost all side thrust. Abort. Abort. <laughs> Doesn't help. Let's go away. <laughs> That's pretty good, though, actually. How many missiles did they take then? Quite a few. She's still alive. <laughs> I mean, functionally, she's a bit buggered, <laughs> but she survived. That's quite amazing. <laughs> All right, shielded, heavily armored drone base. Bad idea. What else we got? What is with these knolls? Seriously, it's not good. Ah, this place looks perfect. Yes. Level 10 as well. Excellent. Alright, we're going to need a new ship though. Alright, let's just throw this one at the drone base. Look, they're still blowing up that old boy. They still haven't killed it. They're so good. Hi. Can't touch this. What are you going to do about it? Hmm? What are you going to do about it? I'm still alive, bitch. Can't get me. Oh, I got to go in the other way because um, that's got my old ship in it. I got no side thrust. <laughs> Stop erroring. Ah, oh, there he goes. Lame. How is this one still alive? I don't understand. What is taking so long? Wow. Okay. Well. And the point is, actually, it seems to be a fairly uh, robust craft. Is this Project Eden? <laughs> Why him Project Eden? Did they do that? No, 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 it's just a random game. Right. Okay. Uh, Suspanch, have you tried out your combat HV in the late, like, Let's Play? Not yet, no! No, I, um, I'm i sucking at getting into um, fights on my Let's Play. Just avoiding them. Uh, though I have some POIs lined up, we will be definitely attacking with a tank. I realised that I've just been basically gallivanting around the solar system, exploring at the moment. Um, but I found a planet that I'm I am ready and prepared to conquer, and we will need a tank for it. So all good. Right, take four, five. I've, got, I've lost count of how many ships I've lost now. Oh, fingers are in the wrong place. Here we go. Max speed. We got snowstorm defense. You got no shields on you. Oh, it's still a bit twitchy though. Ow! Ow! Stop hitting me. You're not that accurate. Stop it. Why are you so accurate? You never usually are. My up and down is still all over the shop. That does not help. Die! Oh, I killed an antenna, guys. Oh, finally. Right, that was one turret. We've lost a lot of our armor already. <laughs> You guys need to go bye-bye. Have I lost my front all? No, no. Still got that. 
Is that like little twitchy? Like, uh, do you see what I mean? It's like the roll sucks, but like just moving the mouse around. I think that is the is that the thruster positioning? It's doing that. Oh, seriously. Yeah. Doesn't help. Doesn't help when the game is just crashing every five seconds. No references. Look at them all. Now, the material doesn't have a texture property. I'm going to throw an error in your face. You know what? Die. I said die, Imperion. Die, you bastards. I'll kill you all, you fucking smeg faces. Yeah. So what happens when you pick on a bloody admin, you bitches? Infinite bloody ammo. Unlimited power! <laughs> anyway. Right. So it can take a turret out, but it loses half of its front in doing so. But it doesn't help that I'm getting a goddamn error exceptions every five seconds. So... I wonder, under normal circumstances, I'd be a little bit better at that. But I still got that really twitchy going on, and I just don't know what that is. Or is that just how SVs work now, you know? So, what do we do with you? What do we do with you? I don't know. Get it dark. Sponge broke. <laughs> Arnold Sponge Rimmer, how dare you? Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with this bastard now. Um, I attempted at one point to. Take the RCSs out, but then I don't think it's the RCSs that's causing the twitchiness. And it's just up and down because left and right is pretty silky. So it's just up and down. That is ridiculous. That's not controllable. What is doing that? What is doing that? That's the pitch, right? So the pitch is 383 degrees a second. What? Leave it as it is. Keep roll as it is. Yeah, the roll is fine. Roll is 54 degrees a second. You're 132. But that pitch is ludicrous. Take everything off and just fly a shield around. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> a shielded one missile single engined and a cockpit that's all you need job done why 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 what contributes to pitch i don't i don't know what it is that does the pitch what does the pitch can't keep roll and change pitch too damn you dracronus this is all your fault <laughs> uh if you think our real world physics if you have something that the is wide and short it will flip over very easily and fast but the longer you make it not wider it will start to flip with more effort and slower so i need to make it longer is that what you're saying or am i ditching the wings is that what you're saying that's what you're saying isn't it i'm ditching the wings that's ultimately where this is going so that okay fine i can get behind it I, it's, it's okay you could you could say ditch the wings. It's fine. We can ditch the wings. Visually, it might be a bit ishy. 
Uh, uh, what was that? That was weird. But what we can do with with the vings uh, is we can have a stumpies, right? Proper stumpies. Like that. That stumpy. That's it. The wings. Yeah? Nub wings. You got it. I know you're liking the wings. I like the wings, but you were telling me off for having wings. So now you can't have them both. You have the wings or not the wings. There's no wings. We've got to have no wings, but we'll have the little thingies on them because I like that. And then we had two spaced apart like that. And then we've got to build the thrusters around them again. In fairness, we don't even need them out that far, do we? We can add them back underneath the... Um, the gats again, can't we? They don't even need to be out there because I would thought, yeah, screw that. Screw that noise. They were here. Well, there's one there. Uh, how do I get back to two, though? Hmm. Dilemma. Maybe we get one. Maybe we can have one out there. One hanging out on the wing. I've run out of thrusters again. Um, wings are so year 2000. <laughs> stumpy McStumpy face is what we're going to call it. Wasn't telling you off. I know Dracoda's dude, I was just joking. <laughs> I'm having you on. I'm, I'm annoyed at the whole thing. I'm just using you as a, as a vent. Don't take it personally. <laughs> uh, words curvy curvaceous <clears throat> can we just for the fun of it get a sponge block in there <laughs> This doesn't even work. <laughs> no. We can't. Alright. I want a little bit of curves, but it just doesn't work quite right, does it? Um, it's a stupid triangle one it is. Alright, fine. There we go. Okay. Still mental. 387, you made it worse. <laughs> what was it before? I'm pretty sure it was 350 something. <laughs> it's a snow speeder. A snow spanger, yeah. 388. Oh my god. So in order to have reasonable pitch, we need to have crap roll. That's what it is, isn't it? Two oh two. And the roll is down to 53. 106. What was the roll before? 58, I think. Spanish no longer means less pitch. Wider means less roll. Oh. Yeah, but I thought because you were saying it's super wide, that's why. Anyway, okay, so. Um. Alright, hang on, I'm getting confused. I'm still trying to understand Draguna, sorry. I thought by making it less... I thought by making it skinnier, it would ultimately make it... So I thought it was directly comparable to how wide you had it compared to how long you had it was an influence. So I thought by making it less wide, that... Anyway. Skinnier means more roll. Right, fine. Good. We like more roll. 
don't like as much pitch. Now it but that two two oh two degrees pitch. That's yeah, a lot less mental. Still fairly mental, but it's a lot less mental. Ugh. Right. And it's as soon as you're sort of on a on a um a turn like this. Suddenly the pitch is a little bit more difficult to deal with. Something, I don't know. What is going on? I'm flying around with my symmetry mode on. <laughs> symmetry mode. The roll kind of sucks, but I could probably live with it. I just wouldn't be able to do any flashy um, barrel rolls. That's the word. I was like, what's the bloody word for <laughs> spinning in the air on a horizontal plane? Please stand by while we execute a barrel roll. This may take about an hour. And we may fall out the sky halfway through. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Make it a few blocks longer and see if the pitch goes down. All right, you got it. You got it. I'm holding down, right? It only went down then. This is another thing I've noticed. So while you're flying around, so I've got forward momentum, I am pressing forward and down right now. I'm pressing forward and down. It's not going down. It's like the top thrusters. Auto level. What's auto level? Is this this thing here? So, all inertia off, pressing down. No. Okay. That's O, right? Yeah, but that's. The point is, it won't. It won't actually descend. So it's 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 not um, responding to my commands at all, unless I'm not. I reach a certain speed. So if I come to a stop, holding C, holding C, holding C, now now it kicks in. See that? What's that about? Why are they doing that? Hmm, it's all this Atmo flight stuff. You're getting more lift than down thrust. Right, so the down thrust isn't even bothering because the lift is too powerful for it. Is that what that is? It has to override the up thrust before you see the change. God damn it! So now I need more down thrust. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. This is really complicated now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just tilt down. Well, I know just tilt down while flying and stuff like that, but if if what I'm shooting at or whatever, say it's a floating POI with turrets on it, and I'm flying around it at full speed, obviously trying to maneuver and avoid turret fire or whatever, and the ship is going up and up and up. If I reduce speed, then I'm going to get hit. I just want to lower my position uh, while I'm flying, while still aiming at whatever turrets I'm flying around. It, the point is, it's less control. <clears throat> so, literally the role of SVs is now resigned to just scouts, aren't they? Because they're not they're not going to be anything else. You're going to be able to attack POIs with these things. Not really. Unless you do have a shield with a rocket thruster attached to it and some a couple of missile launchers on the front of the cockpit and that's it. Then you might be able to hit and run some POIs, but honestly, they're taking a lot of the control away. That's not good. It's not good. Drone hunters and explorers, that's it. I think.
The good news is, though, uh, by removing the constructor and those RCSs, I'm down to 4,700 CPU. So I might even be able to add another couple of guns on here. <clears throat> I don't know. Probably not. Probably going to massively take it over CPU again now. Yeah, 6, 8. So we had the rocket launchers instead of the GATs. It'll be all right, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Still a bit twitchy on the up and down. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to make it longer to see if that affected the, uh, the, the pitch, wasn't I? Sorry. Short-term memory. Okay. So the pitch is currently... Pitch is currently... 202.63. Sixty-three degrees pitch. Yes, the length has a massive impact on pitch. So, you're right. So I could just extend its bottom. <clears throat> See, <laughs> I didn't disbelieve you, buddy. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand. It's all very confusing. Uh, how can I make it? <laughs> the length has a massive impact. <laughs> Salty bug lord. You legend. <laughs> uh, okay. I could probably make it a little bit longer. Just give me a second, yeah? <laughs> oh dear. So, having that, which is now 178.88. Spanish, make the nose a little longer and the, add one rocket launcher in the nose and you might still be in CPU limits. We learned size does matter. Okay. <laughs> Spanish, please read. All right. <laughs> Hang on. All right, where do I put my reverse thruster then? I've got to put that somewhere. So if I take that out and I don't have a symmetrical ship, then um, there's going to be we're going to have a problem, aren't we? I mean, just me and you, we're going to have a problem. Okay, I've got an idea. <clears throat> if you need to get his attention, you need to bits and bobs. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to ignore you now <laughs> until you give me the bits and the bobs. Is that just a normal rocket launcher? Yeah. All right, so one rocket launcher. Oh, behave. And uh, one thruster. That takes us to five, eight, two, six. In that case, I have an idea. Five, eight, nine, three. Oh, bum, bada, bum, 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 bum. Take you out. Move you forward a bit. All right.
Hold on then, I've got to figure this back out again. That isn't... I don't want to double dick it. You all know what I mean. You saw the nightshade mark. Three advanced? That's double dicked. It's got two no bends on it. <laughs> uh, no, I need to go up further than that. It's two blocks. Whoa. You're going to take a peek at wildfires posted in Builder's Query. Put weapons as far back as you can unless you want them being a target and destroyed fast. <clears throat> Well, I would. That's obviously as far back as it goes, but yeah. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I can't remember how I did this now. building <laughs> this is going to take it well over CPU because of all these extra blocks I don't know what I've done what have I done to the front of this thing I've created a monster I've created a monster oh my lord It's one of those strange blocks. But it works. <clears throat> sort of. Uh, that's a bit weird. What's going on there? Weird shape. Weird shape. That's so weird. Why? <laughs> Why is that so weird? I don't understand what I've done. Hang on. Right. Um... Continue the. There we go. And then that. And then that needs to be that. And that. Not a weird shape, except that business going on in there. But we can. I can. If I want. Just replace the cockpit with one that actually works. Not that one. I like that one. Oh my god, none of them work. It's a disaster. No! It's all broken! <laughs> That's the only one that works. Fine. We've got a weird gap. But it's okay. Text around it. Okay. 
5901, we're within CPU, and our pitch is now 143, instead of craziness. All right. And we got an actually upgraded uh, reverse thruster as well, haven't we? So... Bam, 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 bam. That's actually so much more controllable. Although my side speed is sucky. 25.3. It's whole circle strafing thing. That's, uh, that's much better. Thank you, Dragonus. Yeah. I'm still going to have to do some work on the nose. I'm not quite happy with it. It's, um, it's very generic. Uh, I, might, I might switch the thruster and the rocket launcher around so that the rocket launcher is on the top because it looks a bit weird. But anyway, the point is that the um, the roll is acceptable, albeit slow. The pitch is much better. It's a reasonable shape craft. I can add some deco to it and stuff actually now that we're, we're below CPU again. So, I think, with some extra tweaking, we've got ourselves a ship. Some minor tweaking required, but we have ourselves a ship, people. <laughs> that only took two and a half hours. It's fine. <laughs> it's a tier one, unlock level seven, SV, with 250 carbon substrate. And apparently now it needs neodymium and cobalt and sathium, and that'll be that missile launcher on the front, won't it? Really? That costs neodymium and all that business? The homing one, I would have thought her would have, but the regular one? Damn! Savage. Well, I can always take that out, and that can be something you guys can add in when you're ready for it, I guess. Yeah. All right. An actual viable ship. Okay. So, what did we learn today? Um, well, it's bloody complicated now. That's what we learned. Can't just throw a ship together. It has only got two RCSs, which is pretty good. Um, but we we learn pitch and yaw is very much tied to the shape of the ship, length and feel. Uh, and how much did you feel you were limited in your creativity during this span? Massively, Doom. Massively. I mean, uh, yeah. Have you got to have a certain length and width and stuff like that in order to control the pitch and the yaw? Well, well, it means all ships are going to basically look like that, aren't they? The pitch and the yaw are directly affected by the dimensions. Ew! <laughs> what if I want to make a B-Wing? What if I want to make Slave 1? What if I... yeah. Sci-fi ships, you know? I don't want to just build wedge-shaped fires. Now granted, alright to calm down a bit this is tier 1 I could just slap tier 4 on it or just ignore the CPU system altogether and build what I want but if I do that even with by doing that we're still affected by these so let's get let's get something stupid in here there we go stupid stupid SV What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This twitchy as hell. It's, I mean, I know I haven't taken the RCSs out and stuff like that. Um, and sure, if we were, were to do that, then uh, it would probably be a lot more controllable. But at the same time, how much of that is the RCSs and how much of that is the shape of this thing? Because it's wider than it is longer. 
Um, or R, P, and Y, roll pitch, and you're all affected by shape. Yeah. RCS is for rotation instead of thruster placement. Twitchy is not good, no. Basically, you need to build a brick, add the thrusters on the corners, get your great creativity in the build, yeah. See, the thing is, the CPU points I can, I can sort of get on board with, where it, you know with some adjustments of the numbers and stuff which i think actually this is a much bigger issue this this uh for for svs at least anyway i don't know what the impact would be on hvs or um cvs even but the shape of the ship dictating the pitch and the yaw and stuff like that that ain't good I'm not I'm not happy with that. Um, whether you're playing in 10.5 or 10 bit 6, regardless of CPU, the builds R, P, and Y are all affected by shape. Um, well, this is this is affected by shape on a level I've never seen before, Draconis. This is 10.6. This isn't 10.5. This ship would work fine in 10.5. It wouldn't be tw twitchy and you know that Reavers. Uh, Fate works fine in 10.5. Well, granted, the RCS is a different. Yeah, the new flight model in 10.6. That's what I'm talking about. The impact that it has on these three is is too much, in my opinion. Tang man, what's up, dude? Greeting, Spanish. Been a long time since I was able to catch you live. Due to work. Glad to be here. Glad you're here too, buddy. Welcome along. Raise the light. What's up, man? SV is sleek and appealing. 10.6 new flight model makes ships act like real world ships now. Yeah, but nah, I want real world ships. <laughs> then, this is why I play a sci fi game. So I want freaking Slave 1 and Millennium Falcons and frick knows what else. I, I, I don't get me. I like the whole fact that there's aerodynamics in a sense that wings and stuff could give you lift and you can have those single thruster like strike bombers and stuff that all work aerodynamically but well, I think they're going a little bit too far they're taking the arcade the kind of um, basic appeal away they're basically saying all ships need to be this shape the shape that we've come to during this stream and it's not a bad shape it looks like a nice little ship uh, you know I'm quite happy with it actually I think some texturing and stuff this thing will look dope but I don't want to just have this one ship and that'll be it I want to have ships that look as stupid like the Reaver's Fate and Slave 1 and X-Wings. Do you know what I mean? Stuff that isn't perfectly balanced with the weight and stuff like that. That's what that looks like to me. This is only Tier 1, yeah. So, you, yeah, you're right. I mean, Tier 4, you can have a lot more thrusters and you can have a lot more RCSs and stuff and you can compensate to a degree. But ultimately, everything everything's relative, isn't it? You, you tier one up to tier four, everything's just it's just a big version of that. At tier four, it's just a big version of that with some more stuff. Am I wrong? Well, that's what I'm getting. <clears throat> Sorta. <laughs> <clears throat> Ugh, that arrow. That arrow. That's so ugly. Why is it there? Not sure wrong is the answer here, just different ways to do things sends everyone for a loop. Well I don't I don't mind learning different ways to do things, but what I'm concerned about here is that there's there's no longer many different ways to do things. 
Uh, as you go up in tiers, you can start changing how it looks and still get what you want for flight. Imagination, creativity make for a better game experience than reproducing reality, especially in a space survival game. I agree. Um, the game is becoming space engineers. Well, yeah. I mean, there are elements from space engineers this game could do with. Spange, if I'm not mistaken, you would do better putting the thrusters spaced out like the ones you have on the wingtips to the front. It should give you a lot more yaw in that way. Well, we tried that, but it, to be honest, in this case, it gave us too much. So we actually brought the thrusters in because what the thrusters were doing was a lot of turn and a lot of up and down, but not a lot of roll. So in order to balance the roll, the turn, and the up and down to a reasonable state, to what it is now, we had to bring the thrusters in, get two RCSs, shorten the wings bring the whole thing a bit tighter and closer in make it longer which is why it's got these tail fins and that's what i mean if i should be i should have been able to have stupidly long wings and have the thrusters i to a degree have the thrusters sort of on the uh, outer edges of the ship to, to give a better sort of roll and stuff like that, but not to this degree. I think this degree is a bit stupid. I think it's too much. I think it's too much. They need to tone it down. Uh, for instance, Dorothy handles like a beast and moves like 1, 2 in 10.6 and still being CPU compliant. CPU restrictions, restrictions you on how big, but not the general shape. That's down to the flight system. We'll over you look at my ship if you want. We'll let you look over. Right, up down the thrusters on the end of the wings to increase roll. Well that's what I thought, but it didn't seem to make any difference to roll. The only thing that does roll is RCS. The thrusters just give turn up and down and turn. Cause I thought I, I was the same as you, Uncle Sam. I thought by putting thrusters on the air, on the on the wings you could roll with zero RCSs. I thought that's what Hummel said, is that you, your RCSs, oh, I've forgotten where I put them now, there they are. There's one. There's two, two RCSs out. That's all my RCSs. So yeah, I can still roll. That's me hard down on Q. So yes, technically I can roll. Technical roll. <laughs> Add one up and one wing and one down the other. And see if it will roll faster in that direction. All right. I mean, we've been it. We've we've done this already but okay I'll do it again so I take the side thrusters off and replace them with the um, the ups and the downs so the ups and the downs two on either side okay I'll keep running out of these thrusters because I keep taking them off and putting them back Okay, and then we got I'm just gonna add one of the sides in there as well because uh, we had two in each direction. So now we've got two in each direction again. Okay. That's an even slower roll. Hard down on Q right now. You need one of the two more forward. What do you mean? What do I what what do you mean more forward? Why do I need to move it more forward? Pitch zero. Your zero. Roll zero. <laughs> Hold shift when you roll. Well oh the boost, yeah. No, I'm not gonna do that, it won't make a plain bit of difference.
no RCS to tell us, right. So you say now if I put two RCSs back in. Ah dear. So two RCSs back in. The roll is forty eight. Which is a reasonable roll, which is exactly what we had before I moved the thrusters. In fact, that even still feels a bit slower. Right, so remember that. Uh, that's a roll of 48.46, okay? thrusters back to where they were. I'm missing a few blocks back there, but other than that, 48.46. Makes a difference. <laughs> Makes no bloody difference. No. So that's what I mean. Like, You got broken logic in here. Just completely, um, yeah. Uh, but this is the sort of stuff I suppose I, I need to feed back to Elion. Just say, look, your roll and your pitch calculations, so thruster placement, RCSs are just all over the shop. Please fix. Um, yeah. Yeah, pitch number should be roll, and the roll should be pitch. <laughs> don't, don't be talking big feet. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right actually, because that pitch is ludicrous, isn't it? It's absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, the pitch, the oar, and roll, all those numbers—they're just all over the bloody shop. Absolutely all over the shop. So, um, I would say this test is done. I think we've been fairly thorough today, haven't we? Yeah, with the even with these numbers that are clearly bloody broken. Um we've managed to produce a reasonably well looking and, and performing ship. But yeah, I, I'll definitely be um I think um calling Hummel on that one. Alright, Hummel. Hummel. Apologies, pronunciation. Hummel. Um, can you just entertain me, please? Oh, entertain me, please. Hold shift when you roll. I have a roll of 41. Holding shift made a difference to me. All right, so... A bit of height. Hold Q, holding shift. Not holding shift. Holding shift. Not holding shift. Yes, roll is faster while holding shift, but you notice it's not using any of the boost up. Um, so that's a bug, I'm afraid. It would, yeah, it, it should be using the boost because you're holding shift, which is the boost, and it's not using any. So, which means you will be able to roll quicker using shift, but only for maybe two seconds, and that's it. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on, I'm with you, Red Baron. I think, yeah, they, basically, ultimately, this lot, particularly roll, pitch, and your, that, that's not right. That needs to be fixed. So that's what we're going back to early on, but yeah. Uh, still. That is a tier one SV with current numbers that actually flies pretty reasonably. I'm still loath to give it the name Nightshade because it's it's fast enough, but it's not manoeuvrable enough. And it couldn't defeat a shielded drone base. And we know that the Nightshade B would have been able to do that easily. So, you know. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but we'll call it something. Um, but like I said at the start of the stream, if you weren't here at the start of the stream, I'm not going to publish anything. I'm not going to publish anything until... Uh, 10.6 goes public 
because then actually we know what the numbers are. But then even there's probably going to still going to be changes then, but hopefully a lot less changes. For now, that will have to do. All right. Depending on what changes in 10.6 this week, next week I'll probably look at hover vessels. Um, and we'll have a look at the mechanics of that one because um, I think we got to a point now with SVs where it's like, no, we, 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 we need the game to change before we can do anything more with these things. Before I'm even willing to do anything more with these things. We well, need those numbers to change. So I'm not going to put any more time into creating SVs. I've tested them, change it, and I'll test it again. HVs next week, unless that changes. So, yeah, Day Runner. Nice name, actually. Yeah, it's quite cool. In your Discord spam, if you want to join, toot, toot, join. Toot, join. Well, I'm just literally about to end now. So, um, I'll pop into um, the voice channels on my Discord if you want to pop in. But, yeah, that's a stream, guys. So I've got to go in a minute anyway. So, yeah. Very worried, concerned. We shall see what happens in the patches. I'll talk to Homo about these numbers and see if we can get them sorted out because I, I can't believe that they're anywhere close to being right. But we will see. Um, hopefully I'll be back to normal time next Sunday, so about 7 o'clock, which it now nearly is. <laughs> so hopefully I'll see you guys then. Thanks for joining me today. Um, always appreciate it. Thank you very much for the bits, Johnny. Who Fluff. Uh, all the follows, thank you very much for all the subs as well. You guys are awesome over on Twitch and you guys over on YouTube as well. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a wonderful week. Hopefully I'll see you during the week, Project Eden. Otherwise, see you next week for more chilling in the building. Have a good Nailed one, guys. Nailed it. <laughs> Chucky, thanks for the following, man. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. See you soon. <laughs>